Hi everyone and welcome to early morning prayer request and devotions. I hope everybody's okay this morning. Our prayer request, Amy's grandmother has had the flu for three weeks. She's trying to get well, but she's very weak. Uh, she's 82 years old and pray she gets better soon. Amy, how is your uh, grandmother doing? It's been about a week. I hope that she's doing better now. Pray for uh, Sharon Lawson and her family. They're having a lot of sickness. And Lisa's granddaughter is better, but her daughter caught uh, COVID now. She's taking a new COVID drug and it's helping. Okay. Our scripture of the day comes from Matthew 5, 13 through 16. This is Jesus speaking. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds, and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen. All right, let me get a drink of water. All right, and our devotion today is entitled, Opportunities to Shine. In March 2020, while walking his dog in New York City's Central Park, Whitney, a retired financial expert, saw trucks stacks of tarps and white tents, each bearing a cross and the name of a charity he'd never heard of before. When he discovered the group was building a field hospital for his fellow New Yorkers with COVID-19, he asked if he could help. For weeks, despite differing faiths and politics, he and his family pitched in wherever they could. Whitney stated, every single person I've met has been a genuinely nice person, and he applauded the fact that no one was paying them to help my city in our hour of deep, deep need. In response to the tremendous needs resulting from the coronavirus pandemic, unlikely partners and service were brought together, and believers in Jesus were given new opportunities to share Christ's light with others. In his Sermon on the Mount, Jesus taught his followers to let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds. We shine Christ's light by letting the Spirit guide us in loving, kind, and good words and actions. When we allow the light we've received from Jesus to shine clearly in our daily lives, we also glorify our Father in heaven. This day and every day may we shine for Christ as he helps us be salt and light in a world that desperately needs him. Where do you see an opportunity to share hope and light with others today? When has someone been light to you in a difficult time? Jesus, help me to shine your light in all I say and do. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great morning. Love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.